Hyrumians. I'm Druznik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of the Groomy Collective in our Stellaris Federation series. First of all, I want to thank all of you for all your really nice and helpful comments so far on the series, and also all the name suggestions that I've received. I am listening, I am reading, I am responding, and I will put them in as soon as I can. So keep them coming, keep them coming. Now I've had some comments about the Bojanites. You you seem uh, you seem very charmed by them, and um, yeah, so am I. So I, I do want to make a federation with them, although I'm still a little worried that they might be destroyed. We'll have to see. They do have the Doomsday origin. So... In 17 years, their home planet will burst. Which is Bod. Bodrilia. Doomsday. Habitability minus 90%. They do have... Oh, so you get a lot of alloys, minerals, and energy to start with. Rah, nice, nice, nice. Bad for stability and immigration. Duh. Immigration push plus 100. So what I think we should do is keep them as friends, but wait for 17 years before we, just start, before we decide whether we federate with them, because they might lose a lot. Now let's see, these guys have the Prosperous Unification Origin, so four pops and two districts extra. What do you have? Uh, no, I want this one. Me oh, you, you're the mechanist ones, right? I thought this said burritos. <laughs> I'm sorry if that made you want burritos now. What do you have? Prosperous unification as well. Okay. Okay, well, um, I just I just wanted to check that. And now we are gonna continue our gameplay. We need some more influence before we can start building more star bases. Oh, gigantic skeleton. What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Darabius 1 have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Darabius I could have supported life on that skill at any point in the planet's history. Science officer Franz of Indigo has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. Situation Good. log updated. Which means that you can do that right now. Uh, let's see, we have some stations here. You have Calling just been home. upgraded. Oh, we're colonizing a uh, Hodronus. Mm, let me think. Is there anything we need in here right now? I mean, another shipyard would be useful, I think. Two shipyards in your home system, never a bad idea. And maybe an off-world trading company? And then for the Stimsis station, uh, I don't think we need a second shipyard over there yet. What we could do, we don't need a trade hub. We could go for anchorages at some point, or maybe just defenses, but right now we don't need anything. I think we're okay. Now, Ogilkapis has some room left as well. As soon as we get to Filcate, we might want to upgrade the, um, the trade hub, and then we can get that one as well. The trade value from there, so we might, we might just want to... Although... No, no, no. It makes sense complete. to do it here. But not right now, if we don't, uh... We could get the off-world trading company here, though. Let's get that. Ooh, hello! Greetings, Grumans! As you no doubt know, we Lozavata are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. You don't look like it. We have studied your species and determined that the Groomy Collective is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. Thanks. To ensure the continuation of the Groomy species, should the worst befall your empire... Species? Really? We would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. We will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species, and its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm. So you need not worry on their behalf. Ah. So what do you say? Will you contribute to our preserve and safeguard the future of your species? Yes, I will. You, you really don't look like harmless species, but whatever. So we will uh, we will allow them to take a groomy pop. They will not be happy about it for 120 months. That's quite a, 
quite a long time, but we will do it anyway. Because that makes them happy, Special and that's always complete. useful. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Jurabi's 1, science officer Franz of Indigo has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume that these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash-landed on Jurabius 1. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. Incredible! Incredible! Okay. <laughs> I want Tvilke, but... System survey complete. We were gonna go for this first, weren't we? System survey complete. I actually don't remember what I was doing. That's that's worrisome. <laughs> uh, yes, I think we were going... We did get that. I think we were going for Amastis first. Now this starport has upgraded. And we do have Orchid over here. And we do want this trade value at some point, but we might not do it through Paith. What we really want here is defenses, when we need them. I mean, there's no point in building them now if you don't necessarily use them. Although, although, you're gonna be sorry if you get attacked and you don't have anything. You're gonna be sorry. Research complete. Okay, is that the destroyer? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. La. Yeah, I do want extra minerals, but um. Ooh, this is hard. Okay, let's see. We get stations 84 and jobs 14 per month production, so it's more useful to up the production from stations. So let's do mining station output. And if we... Oh yeah, ship designer. Stinger destroyer. Destroyer! Let's make a gunship destroyer. Um, yes, a full gunship with a medium 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 let's do the mass driver over here and you do the uh you do the shield damage so that's good so we'll definitely get a big blue laser maybe just one mass driver and all the others are blue lasers like that ceramo metal armor deflectors and do you need a react no you don't need a reactor booster and you're gonna be called mm, thistle Boom. Yes, yeah, delete that one. And then we are going to be building the picket chip. Full picket chip. With, let's see, you do armor damage, so let's put that here. And then we need something that does shield damage, so you're going to need the mass driver. We're going to need to be upgrading the mass driver soon. Deflectors. You have enough energy. You can see that here, power plus 64, so we don't need that reactor booster. Uh, let's call you Rose. Because picket ships have red logos. So. <laughs> it's, it's all very logical, okay? Don't judge me. And then we'll get the uh, artillery destroyer with an interceptor ship stern. Um... Let's do a large laser with two small mass drivers. And this. Boom. Have enough energy as well. And you're going to be called Firethorn, right? Yes. Okay, so we have our destroyers set up. Now let's go to the fleet manager and take Poison Spike. And we need to assign these destroyers to it. Oh, we have increased command limit. Ha 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 So let's get two destroyers each, and then increase the uh, the poison ivy class and the poison oak class. So we get to 30. And we only have 20 naval cap, though, so we have to be a little careful. But at least we have it all set up. And we could... Could we get a... No, this is going to be building corvettes. Well, we could... We could finish our needed production of corvettes before we built destroyers, and maybe by then we'll have increased naval cap, because I don't know how much destroyers Handshake take up. Hello! Activated. A defensive pack. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, hang on. Okay, um... 
The Tendrakians want a defensive pact. I don't think I want that, so I'm going to say no. And the Ilkahan... Yes! You want a migration treaty. Yes! 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 Come here. Come here, and I shall love you forever. I want that with you guys, too, though. I could take somebody off the Tendrakians. Petals of purple. You're gonna go over to the Bodronites. Because these guys love me enough right now, anyway. I think we're okay. But I don't want any pacts with them. I don't really like them. I mean, I do. I like. I love everybody, right? But we need to have priorities. <laughs> oh, hello, Rumi. Thank you for telling me that you came in here. <laughs> she came in here with a huge... Um, the hostile and unforgiving world of Vana 5 was home to what once appears to have been a large Cybrex base. Nothing remains of it now, aside from scattered debris and a large crater. We will have to investigate the site of the base more closely if we are to learn more. Ooh. Situation log update. Mm -hmm. Research. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? I want to do so much. The Ilkhans. Okay, is there any planet that has now suddenly become green? No. We do still have the Alpine world here. Research complete. But these guys could go to Paith, right? That was the point. They can go to Orchid. Okay, we have the Moat Harvesting Traps. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, docking Hatch. Yes, research that. What do I want? Energy Grid would be good. Physics Research. Oh my god. All these good things. Yeah, I think we should do research station output. Because otherwise we're going to be falling behind on the research curve, and we don't want that. Uh, this is still being set up, this planet, so there's nobody coming there yet. And Lycan is being set up as well. So I have two planets coming online, so to speak, soon. Uh, now you can get the moat over here, and then when you're done with that, I do actually want you to go to Tefilkate, because that hole is bothering me. And I want it filled. <laughs> oh, man. And then we can breathe again. <laughs> A large portion of asteroid TFL-784 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, and much could be potentially learned. It could potentially be learned from this study. Should we uh, upgrade poison System spike? System survey complete. Should. Are you building a destroyer? No, two Corvettes. Okay, fine. Special project complete. We have found debris on Vana Five from a large ship that does not appear to have been of Cybrex origin in the crater that was once the site of their base. Our archaeologists speculate that the ship belonged to one of the organic civilizations under Cybrex attack. If so, it may have been sent to collide with the base on some kind of suicide run. No other explanation for the destruction of the base has been found. Interesting. Can we do anything useful with those, um... No, no. Relics yet? Research complete. Sell to private collectors. Proclaim religious revelation. System survey complete. Okay, it's good for the spiritualist. Spiritualist ethic. Celebrate diversity. Complete. Xenophile ethics attraction. Oh, nice. That's actually not too bad, given the varied species that are coming into our empire right now. Precursor insight, Elgate insight, museum exhibits. Planetary decision. At the very least, it's, this could be a good thing to do. 1337-947 is in fact an artificially constructed object, carefully concealed with a thin layer of rock to make it appear as an asteroid. The hollow interior houses an ancient Cybrex listening post, which was used to spy on space traffic within the system. It has long since ceased functioning. Ooh. But we can Situation do log updated. Do you do it or do we need a construction ship? No, we don't. Hang on, though. I was looking at the relics. I can't spend this. 
Oh, no, I can't. Booty hooty 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 hoo. Okay, I guess I need something else first. Museum. I don't know. Should we do any of these? I mean, we have 57 of them. We might as well use them, right? Let's do religious revelation and celebrate diversity. Boom. Uh, oh, and we got enough unity to get a new tradition. And here, let's go for gene clinics after all. And you, I'm going to finish the diplomacy tree now. Boom. So we got, for finishing that, we got trust cap by 50 increase and our trust growth by 33%. Ooh, nice. Now, what about that ascension perk? Normally, I go for one vision, which is good for unity, pop amenity usage, and governing ethics attraction. And I think that could still be a good idea. Yeah. I mean, Consecrated Worlds is very nice, too. That decision. But right now, I think... One vision is going to be most useful. So let's go for one vision. Very classic ascension perk choice here. Ooh, upgrade this building. Yes, please. And then I want you to build. Fleeing aggressors. Oops, hang on. Um, I want a research facility. That's what I really want. So let's go for that. Did I miss it already? Research labs. Why can't I? Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make a planetary administration first, and then we're gonna build those research labs. That's fine. We have found aggressors. What are you? Are those ancient mining drones? I think those are ancient mining drones. And mining station output has been increased. Synthetic crystal plans already. Wow. Um, let's get this out of the way. Geothermal fracking gets even more minerals. Not gonna be a whole lot, but still. You're gonna live, right? Good. Good, good, good. Um, you can still get around, so that's good. Actually, yeah, you can. Where are you gonna go? Merlick. No, 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 you should- Oh, no, don't evade to Merlick. Hang on, can I make you- Evade to elsewhere? Yes, I can. Can you please evade there? No! Oh, I thought it was paused! No! Dang you! Damn you, damn you, da Oh, man, now you have to go all the way around. Oh, well. Dum dum. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have con collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on New Leaf. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search of strange life forms. Good. So, poison spike. Poisony spiky. Let's get that last corvette built, then. And we have naval captains. Yes. Research agreement with the Ilkahan. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What is your relationship to the Bodronites? <laughs> Nothing special. Okay. I did I did complain about wanting to play with you guys as well in the last episode, so I suppose that we should go for Yes, do the research pack. However, that will uh, lower my, my influence gain. So that's a problem. I have a defensive pack with who? With you? No. With you? No. I don't have a defensive pack with you. I said no, right? Yeah, I said no. Oh, with you! With you! I have a defensive pack with you. Right, 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 right. You haven't met anybody new yet. Interesting. Um... Well, you are a xenophile, so... Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I want you to, though. 
You're rivaling the Tendrakians, but that's okay. I'm okay with going to war with the Tendrakians, even though everybody's stronger than me. <laughs> like, <laughs> New frontier is established. By far. Okay, Paith has been uh, colonized. Orchid, I should say. Now, what I could do is go to the market, because we have reduced market fees, sell some of our minerals. 5,000. Now we have 7.7k energy, and we could buy some alloys. Like. So. And then I can say Poison Spike. Get your destroyers! Okay. A closer study of Asteroid 1337 947, in reality a hidden Cybrex listening post, has produced some interesting results. For whatever reason, the asteroid was left behind when the rest of the Cybrex vanished from the galaxy. It remained functional for at least 50,000 years after their disappearance, despite increasingly erratic behavior from its administrative AI. After more than five trillion failed attempts to connect with the Cybrex subspace hub, subspace hub, and the AI appears to have suicided by short-circuiting all the asteroid's systems. Interesting. Now, Lycan is still uh, going online. Oh, somebody died. Oh, one of our scientists. Okay. We have a society need. Could we get somebody from... No. Research ships. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Petals of green or petals of brown. You both have the same age. You have new world expertise and you have military theory expertise. Let's for now still go for new world expertise. You don't live long anyway. <laughs> I did say get reinforced, right? Yes, we are building destroyers. Destroyer? Four destroyers in queue. Why is Stimpsis not building any destroyers? It's weird. You have a shipyard that's not doing anything. Why? That's strange. Construction complete. Okay, you're done. Um, doesn't really matter how we go now. I want to get to Filcate first, though. We need seven more influence. Oh, that's not a whole lot anymore. That's a Tundra world. This is an Alpine world with 13 size, so that's going to be a higher priority, I suppose. Let's see. 60% colonization or habitability, and here we have 55%. So 60 is still System better. It's not great, complete. though. I will say, it's not great. And here, I'm, su I'm, su I'm supposing, I'm thinking that we'll have uh, Ilkhan move there. Oh, hello. A new alien vessel in Electra. Where's Electra? No. Uh, I wanted to see Electra. Hang on. Where's Electra? Electra, Electra, Electra. Here. Oh, okay. It's another enclave. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Xur 1A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to have several to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Okay, our destroyers are being constructed, so let's go look at them. This is the starbase and the fleet. That's a little confusing. I don't see any destroyers here yet. So this is just the corvettes that are making 1.1k? No, there should be a destroyer here. Maybe if I move the fleet, hang on. Oh yeah, 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 I see them. Here. Here. That's the destroyer. Cool. Okay, go home. Because then they'll use less energy. Orange Tulip has a build. Oh, yeah, building slot. Research. Research. Thank you. It's going to be good. It's specialist in employment, so that's good. We're, the researchers are specialists. Um, I believe. <laughs> oh, am I wrong? No, I'm not. I'm not wrong. Of course I'm not wrong. <laughs> um, okay, let's get to Vilkate. No, 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 no. Wrong button, Rojnik. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a tomb world, right? Does anybody know anybody that I don't know? System I want to meet everybody complete. that I don't know. Hello. Mm -hmm. No. You? No. Oh, 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 not aggression pact. Ah! Costs influence too. Fine. Their leader is a substance abuser. Okay, we've got that. Now, do we want a commercial pact? They will get a lot from it. They'll get more from it than we will, so let's not do that. <laughs> we could do another research agreement. Then, I think we would be satisfying with another faction, so we would offset the influence loss. Let's do that. I think. Yes! System survey complete. Alright, Science Without Borders, yes. Good. Ooh, we have found new aliens. Oh, yes! Oh, hello! Hi! Ooh, that looks like a human ship, doesn't it? Wait, wait, you're over here? That's my borders. I want to know who you are. Research. Those are the row aliens, right? Construction so. complete. Hmm. We got minerals from miners. Um, let's get the afterburners to make our ships faster, if need be. Handshake protocols activated. Ooh, now the Ilkahans want a commercial pact. Yeah, but I, I want to know, like, it doesn't say what we get from it. They will get, oh, we will get 12.18 energy? Okay, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> the Hello! Oh! You're so cute! You're suspicious. I know that. Because you're very dangerous. Some fanatic purifiers. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> Let's close our borders. They are very close to uh, our system, I'm just saying. Curator order! <clears throat> Greetings, star travelers. We are the curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today. But we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you. For a price. Well met. And. And. And, 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 and. Give me research aid, please. A thousand energy. But yes, please. Extra research speed, of course. Okay. So we have met the Prekikiti, and they are dangerously close to our systems. However, I do think that the Tendrakians will not like them either. They have not met them yet, but they will soon. Yeah, that might change things. That might change things. Um, thankfully, they're still equivalent, but I think that they will grow in power quite quickly. They have a Gaia world. 58 Empire Sprawl, so they are smaller than I am. One colony, 56 pop, but they, they grow rapidly, if I uh, if I remember correctly. So, huh. And they do know somebody that we don't know, so there is another empire over there. We do have a defensive pack with the fire tribes of Yihim, so that's helpful. Ooh, they're now equivalent. How about you? Superior. That's better than overwhelming. Oh, they're still overwhelming. Okay, I really want to be friends with them. <laughs> they're going to be very helpful. What about you guys? Overwhelming. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to cut the episode here. In the next one, we're going to see what the Prikiki T decide to do and what the Groomy Collective will do in return. Hopefully, we don't have to go to war because we are a peaceful species, right? But anyway, if it's unavoidable, then we will. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in the Groomy Collective come out about every other day at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.